Hello everyone, it's me again, Teacher Joan. This tutorial is for statistics and probability, a subject which is intended for grade 11 senior high school students in the Philippines. For today's objectives, at the end of the lesson, the learners will be able to illustrate the nature of bivariate data, Constructs a scatter plot and describe the shape, trend, and variation based on a scatter plot. For today's topic, we have correlation and we will be discussing bivariate data and scatter plot. So, before we proceed with the discussion, let us define some of the terms. So we have a univariate data. So what is a univariate data? So these are data that involves a single variable. So example would be grades of students, speed of a car, or amount of rainfall. Then we have the bivariate data. So what is a bivariate data? So we know that the word by means two. So therefore, for our bivariate data, it means that these are data that involves a two variable. Example would be height and weight of students and speed and gas consumption of a car. Then we have correlation analysis. So it is a process or procedure of describing the relationship between two variables. So there are different types of correlation. First, we have the positive correlation. So for positive correlation, so it is the correlation in the same direction. So if one variable increases, the other variable also increases. And if one variable decreases, the other also decreases. For example, so the length of an iron bar will increase as the temperature increases. So as the temperature gets hotter, so the length of the iron bar increases. So in the graph, this is how it looks like. So next type, we have the negative correlation. So what is a negative correlation? So the correlation in opposite direction is called a negative correlation. So if one variable increases, the other decreases and vice versa. Example of this is as the distance traveled by a car increases, the amount of gas decreases. And for the graph, this is how it looks like. And we have the zero or no correlation. So if there is no relationship between the two variables, so such that value of one variable change and the other variable remain constant, this is called a no or zero correlation. So example here is age and gender of a person. So as the person's age increases, the gender of the person doesn't change. So here's how the graph looks like for a zero correlation or when there is no correlation between the variable. So next thing we will be discussing is a scatter plot. So what is a scatter plot? So it is a graphical representation of the strength and direction of the correlation between the two variables. So a perfect correlation exists when all the points on a scatter plot lie on a straight line. So whether it's negative or a positive correlation, as long as it lies on a straight line, so that's a perfect correlation. So we have the positive correlation 
So it exists between two variables when the points on the scatter plot follow a straight line slanting up to the right. So it goes to the right and it goes up. So unlike the negative correlation, it also goes to the right, but the direction is going down. So here are some examples of scatter plots and uh, correlation. So from the left side, we have the perfect positive correlation. So as you can see, the plots or the points lies on the line. Then we have the highly positive correlation. So it's almost close to the line for low positive correlation. So the direction is still going up to the right, but it goes further from the straight line and then for the no correlation everything is scattered so we have the low negative correlation so the direction is going to the right but it goes down and the points are far from the straight line then we have highly negative correlation so the direction is going to the left going down and the plots or I mean, the points are almost close to the straight line. Then we have the perfect negative correlation. So the direction still goes going down to the right and all the point lies on the straight line. So if you would notice below you have values of R. This would be discussed on our next topic for the Pearson R correlation. So how we how do we construct a scatter plot? So these are the steps that you could follow for constructing a scatter plot when you already have your data. So of course you would need to know how to plot points on a Cartesian plane. So if you remember a Cartesian plane, we have the x and the y axis. So the independent variable will assume the values of x or abscissa and for the dependent variable they will assume the values of y or the ordinate so i hope you still remember how to plot points on a cartesian plane because that will be very beneficial for constructing a scatter plot so that's it for the information or the topic for today. Now let us check what have we learned. So identify the term as in each of the following items. For number one, so data that involves a two variable. Number two, when the value of one variable change, and the other variable, variable remain constant. So what do you call that type? Number three, the type of correlation in the same direction. Number four, it is the process or procedure of describing the relationship between two variables. And number five, it is a graphical representation of the strength and direction of correlation between two variables. Now let us check your answers. For number one, it's bivariate data. For number two, it's zero or no correlation. For number three, it's positive correlation. Number four, it's correlation analysis. And number five is scatter plot. I hope you got all the correct answer. And that's it for today. I hope you learned a lot.
So we're done for today. And thank you very much. I hope you learned a lot and see you in my next lesson. Bye!